Welcome to my year-end review of my favorite running shoes. Now the spin of this video is they're not necessarily my favorite from a feel um, perspective. This is on raw data that I'm going to be presenting to you of shoes based on the number of times I've used them and the number of miles that I've used them. So I, that's how I'm basing my top 10. So number one shoe of 2022 has been the Asics Nova Blast 2. And just so you guys know, I purchased this shoe. Oh, I purchased the Nova Blast 2. Well, I can't find it right away. I should have sorted this. Down to it. Nova Blast 2. You guys have known this shoe. It's actually a 2021 shoe. I always like this colorway with the FF Blast in the tan and orange and blue. Um, by the way, you probably want to know. Number one shoe. This has 215 miles in calendar year 2022 of which 157 miles of those 215 miles have been long runs. I'm, I'm defining a long run as more than 10 miles. At first, I wasn't super comfortable with the shoe. I did feel a little bit of tightness near the top of the shoe and it actually cut the top of my foot. Um, it softened up. I did wear bandages um, a couple of times when I wear this, but it seemed that there was something either in the laces or in the tongue that um, was causing an irritation on the top of my left foot. Never felt it on the right foot. I did consider returning these, uh, but I did not, and I'm glad I didn't because they've been my go-to long run shoe for most of 2022, and they're wearing wonderfully. I mean, I still have lots and lots of um, rubber um, that is not being worn down at all on this shoe. The upper is perfect. 215 miles in the Nova Blast 2. The number two shoe this year has been the Saucony Ride 13. And this is my second pair of Saucony Rides. I'm actually wearing my original Saucony Rides in all black with super cool red laces. Um, this shoe I've had most of 2022, and this one has 197 miles on it as of the day of this ride recording. Um, I will get to over 300 in these because I will take them out for another run. I have a few more miles that I want to run this, this year. Um, I do see some breaking down on the, on the outsole, but uh, it's not too bad. A lot of the, the rubber is still uh, intact. I probably can take this for at least another 50 miles. I'm not sure I will. It is starting to wear a little bit on the uh, left side of the outside of the shoe. Um, this has been a good go-to shoe. Very comfortable. Um, I always like this colorway. I get a lot of uh, compliments about it. Uh, people seem to think that this is really a cool colorway. So that's my number two shoe is the Saucony Ride 13. We're going to keep in the Saucony family number three shoe has been the Saucony Triumph 18. So this is the 18. Uh, I had this for a few years. The Saucony Ride Triumph 18 is 160 miles. Um, this has been my long run shoe. So most of the miles here have been on the long run. Um, actually about 100 miles of these have been long run shoes out of the 160. Um, this shoe is still in really good shape. Um, I already have the Triumph 19 brand new in my favorite Camp Fire Story color. I don't know if you guys love that colorway, but I have two pair of shoes in Saucony in that in that colorway. It's it's just it it strikes me very well. Um, Power on Plus in this outsole, pretty soft. You guys know about the Triumph 18. It is still in great shape with 190 miles in it. So number three shoe, Triumph 18. Number four shoe, and this one I just um, was a 2022 shoe that I purchased in 2022 and have only ran it in 2022. So all these miles are from 2022. Um, brand new, 
and did not have this shoe in 21. This is, of course, the Puma Velocity Nitro 2, fastest shoe to 100 miles. This has 118 miles on it. And it is wearing pretty well. I do like this outsole. It has been a go-to shoe. The Puma grip has been great. I usually wear this if it's a little bit wet out. Uh, I find that I, I know I'm not going to slip because of this um, very textured outsole. Um, it's been a very comfortable shoe. Um, the color is nice. The only downside is I don't really love these puffy laces, which are also in the Ride 13. They're not my favorite laces. The tongue hangs out very nicely. It's a you know it's a gusseted tongue, semi gusseted tongue, yeah, fully gusseted tongue, both sides, and um, did half size down on these because for some reason Puma didn't have half sizes. So this is a 12. Most of my shoes are 12 and a half, but this one fits just great. I probably can't wear a very thick sock with the with the Puma Velocity 2, 119 miles. The number five shoe, probably the fastest shoe to near 100 miles, actually 77 miles. You guys know this one. It's probably the shoe of the year, the Nova Blast 3. Um, this shoe was so good when I went to uh, Reno, Nevada for Thanksgiving on my way to CIM, uh, California Marathon. Um, this was the only, this was my daily trainer. So I ran in just this shoe. I brought this shoe and my race shoe. Um, I love the Nitro 3, uh, Nova Blast 3. I don't know if there's no Nitro 3. Uh, this one has awesome laces. The outsole is still perfect. I will get this shoe to 200 miles in 23. Uh, in, in 2023, it'll, it'll reach that 200 mile mark for sure. This one is going to stay in my quiver. Love the Nova Blast 3. Coming in at number six, the OG Saucony Speed. Still love this white mutant colorway. Um, I've been wearing this shoe a lot. This shoe has in, just in this year, has 53 miles, but I took it to well over 100 miles last year. So the shoe in total has close to 200 miles in it. It's semi-retired. I will use this indoors because of the because of the exposed foam, which is completely wiped out over here and in the heel. The, the toe the toe box is still pretty good. The upper is still really nice as well. So it's a good gym shoe. I will take this on treadmill runs and and maybe if I was doing a really short run, um, it's the Saucony Original Speed One. I have another cop another pair of these in bright green. Um, same color as these laces, and that is my Speed 1 that I'll be running it uh, this year, coming up. And I also have the Speed 3 that is um, still breaking in. I, I bought it at the end of um, this, this year, probably October, November is when I received it. And since we went away and I wanted to train in just a couple of shoes, I have very few miles in the Speed 3, but that's also going to be a keeper for me. After this shoe, another Saucony shoe is the Convara 11. Now, the Convara 11 that I did put 53 miles on is not this shoe. It was a different uh, color. Um, I broke these out um, just recently, probably in the summertime. This has been my Tempo Day shoe. Uh, lower stack height, uh, lower profile. You can see I was pretty tight near the, uh, the top, so it's not as cushy. Um, laces are awesome. I do love these laces. The colorway in this is on point. It's fire. Um, foam is holding up really well. It just has 53 miles on it, so it's pretty much a brand new shoe. Um, so the Convara 11, yep, these are the 11, uh, my second pair. I do have Convara 13s that I bought on sale on Black Friday. They're over there. Those are in the Campfire Story colorway, and those I'll probably hold on to in the spring. Or maybe I'll break them out if it's a nice day. But here we have the Convara 11 from Saucony, number seven. Number eight. Okay, number eight is my first race shoe. This is the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent 2. Um, I have two marathons in this shoe. I ran uh, in May, I ran the Whitefish Marathon, 
in this exact shoe, and then I used this shoe again for CIM. Uh, I did like it a little bit better than the Alpha Fly, which I also own, um, that you won't see because it's not a top 10 used shoe, worn shoe in 22, but I did wear the um, Alpha Fly for the Chicago Marathon this year. Um, this shoe's been great. Um, the upper is still perfect. It has 84 miles on this shoe, so it's still got plenty of life. Um, it's wearing out a little bit since it's been, you know, by, um, over here a little bit, but I think it's got another marathon in it. It's certainly a half marathon shoe, um, so I might, I might relegate this to half marathon um, status for 23, and it might not be the, the marathon shoe that I'm going to run in in 23. So. Zoom X, Vaporfly Next Percent, again, 84 miles in 2022. All long miles. Coming in at number nine is another long distance race shoe. Still love this shoe. New Balance RC Elite V2. I did the um, my first marathon in 2020, in 2020 in this shoe, that was the Atlantic City Marathon. And I also did uh, several half marathons in the RC Elite. This shoe, I have 75, almost 76 miles in it in calendar year 2022. Uh, it's really holding up well. Uh, I will probably not get the SC Elite because I still have miles in, in this particular shoe. Yes, there are differences, but um, this colorway is awesome and uh, so the SC Elite is probably not going to be something that I'm going to be looking to get um, to replace this one. So that's number nine. And number 10 is the only trail shoe that, that I've owned up until getting the uh, Speedgo 4s. And this is the Challenger ATR 5. Now the ATR 7 just came out. Um, I probably will get that because I really do like this shoe uh, very much. It's holding up pretty well. It might the, um, it's not near end of life whatsoever. I probably have a bunch of, I could probably get to 150 miles or more in uh, this shoe. It is breaking down a bit, but you'd expect that to happen in a, on a trail shoe because I'm mostly running on very rocky trails uh, where I am. It's, I can still see some rocks built into there, but um, this has been a great shoe. Really like this colorway. The ATR7 looks really nice, although most of the shoes that I have, as you can tell, I'm running a, fi a five from a few years ago. I'm more likely to get the ATR6 than I am to get the ATR7. So that's the top 10. Um, just rounding out, um, after that was the uh, Alpha Fly, which came in at about 40 miles. I only ran in that in uh, one marathon, the Alpha Fly. And then the Pegasus Turbo 2, which I still have has, um, I ran, um, looks like about 50 miles in that. After that, just to round it up a few more, I have the Atreyu Artist, which has been a very good training shoe. I have about 30 miles in that. And then the beginning of the year, I ran in the Mach 4, 27 miles in the Mach 4. Most of that was done last January and February. So this has been my favorite top 10 shoes, plus a little bonus bonus shoes that I've worn in 2022. I'm looking forward to an awesome year in 23. Um, these, a lot of these shoes will carry me in, but I'm already interested in getting uh, um, a couple of new pair. I'm not exactly sure which ones. Um, I probably have enough shoes that I haven't run in yet. So I'm looking over at my shoe shelf and I will be running in the uh, Convara 13. I will be running in the um, Triumph 19. And uh, as much as I don't really need it, the Triumph 20 is something that is probably my next shoe that I'll be getting. Okay, this has been Scott uh, from Run and Recover. I hope you enjoyed this information and I wish you awesome times and awesome miles. Have a good day.